The Post Falls School District is trying out something new for the next school year. All schools will shift to a four day week. Crime 2 Shannon Mowdy is in Post Falls now to explain the reason behind this new change. Starting in September, Post Falls schools will cut classes nearly every Friday. And while many families are eager for the schedule change, the district says it's more about hiring and keeping teachers. Post Falls is set to join about 80 other Idaho districts and charter schools with a four day week. We have turned over a third of our certificated staff in the last two years. I started to wonder, is time worth more than money? So the question was asked. 67% of parents wanted to know more about a Monday through Thursday schedule. A second survey showed 63% in favor, which blew my mind. Next year, classes will be cut on Fridays, except if holidays fall on a Monday. The days will be longer, 45 minutes for high schools, 25 minutes for the youngest students to meet state requirements for instruction hours. And not everyone. I obviously was not for it. Is on board. And I definitely voiced my concerns on the survey. Haley Nystrom has a first grader and two twins preparing for kindergarten. She worries one less day of school will add up big in child care costs and stress for families. It's going to be super hard to try to find you know, something for just Friday. Families that are currently part of the district's before and after school gap child care program will get free care on Fridays. Last year, they had an issue with not even having enough gap teachers. And that's part of why the district is trying out the four-day model to attract and keep teachers. I think everybody knows that the vast majority of funding comes from the state. And our state funding formula is much different than Washington's, and, and so we would never be able to compete with those wages. Nacarado says a shorter week may not be the answer, but it's a test worth taking. And if it's a higher attendance rate and staff retention and test scores continue to go up, then and parents are happy, then why would we change back? But we'll see. The district will reevaluate and resurvey families in the spring. Shannon Mowdy, Creme 2 News.